Oh my God, the Star Wars trailer is out. Star Wars Last Jedi, Joe. <laughs> yeah. Okay, everybody get ready. <laughs> Strap yourselves in because we're about to do a trailer reaction right now in three, two, one, go! Oh, oh, shit! It's time for the Jedi to end. No, sir. What? <laughs> no, Fuck that shit. sir. The last Jedi. Jedi. The last one. Time for the Jedi to end. <laughs> Fuck that shit. I want to go now. I'm going to oh, be Mason. the last Jedi, damn it. No, I, well, can I All be right. the last Sith? Okay. Up oh, there, yeah, yeah, that's Maybe the right. last sit. <laughs> uh, we gotta, we gotta mention, uh, you know, that uh, oh, Battlefront Two. I gotta see, see if that trailer's out yet. Um, okay, so let's check out, uh, let's break this thing down together. See if we can get any uh, tidbits and shit uh, that we may have not have noticed on the first uh, go. But I'll say I'm excited. Uh, not a lot was shown. It's a teaser. Yeah. It's a teaser. So I'm not like uh, fucking epic scales excited like I was for, say, Ga Guardians of the Galaxy 2 or uh, Thor 3, uh, Ragnarok. But it's got enough there that I'm like, I can't wait to see more because there's a lot we didn't see, which is good because it's a, it's a long way away. All right, here we go. So... Uh, we start off, I think, on the training planet. We get that little surprise <laughs> that we always get at the beginning. <gasps> like John Boyega did that. So, okay, she's on uh, the planet with Luke. Um, uh, she's got like a little cave here behind her. I'm going to assume that this scene is uh, probably right after she goes in, has her own little Empire Strikes Back Luke Yoda training sequence where he goes and faces yeah, the dark side. Yeah, that actually looks like the cave where he's like... Standing out there. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Earlier, yeah. later on. Like, yeah. It's time. So. For the Jedi to end. Yeah. And maybe that was just an apparition. It wasn't truly Luke saying that, but we'll see. So. Uh, so yeah. She's, she's in a cave. I think that she's seen something. Like her friends in danger or whatever at, during her Jedi training, which is going to inspire her uh, to you know uh, really be the best last Jedi that she can. Mm -hmm. So uh, beautiful shot. Uh, of course, what I'm really loving uh, with all these new Star Wars films is how much they pay attention to the scenery just like the uh, original trilogy and they're doing that here his island is beautiful so he's breathed and he's training her that sounds like the voice of Luke. We see a little bit of her force powers awakening this gets me excited because if she can already do this in training, and I'm sure this is potentially early. Oh, uh, we're, we're gonna see star. Are we gonna see Star Killer levels of of Jedi powers finally? I mean, this is the next trilogy, so are our Jedi powers going to level up? And that is going to let's be insane. Let's do it. Why not? She, it's just yeah. Jedi. Let's I, Let's go all out. <laughs> and one of the coolest things in the, those video games is when he takes down a fucking Star Destroyer with a force, gr like grinds it in a planet. But they're probably not going to do that. That's a little too much. That's more video game stuff. But I tell you what, if I saw that, that on so screen, cool. I'd probably cream my pants. But <laughs> uh, she's probably not going to go to that level. All right, so... Uh, here we have a rebel base here. Uh, I see, you know, we got some some commanders, some officers. I believe this is Leia. She's looking on a map potentially where I, it kind of looks like the same map where Luke was, where they originally found uh, Luke. Okay. Uh, it looks like Admiral Akbar over there in the background. He could be on a Mon Calamari cruiser. Probably not, uh, you know, the famous one, home base one, you know, because that ship is probably old as fuck by now. <laughs> and uh, this shit don't work. Uh, it's a trap! <laughs> I can't wait to see more Akbar. I hope he factors in into the battle. So I was thinking yeah, earlier, like, you said no. Because you is could kind of see some detail on the bottom. Oh, yeah, the silver. That yeah. is not Darth Vader's helmet, guys. That You got it. That's fucking Kylo yeah, Ren's helmet. Because look at the top over here on this section. Yeah, yeah. Go, go get the helmet real quick. It's got to be. It's on the other side. Okay, 
So, from what I'm seeing, yeah. these little marks right here yeah, on yeah, the bottom, yeah. <laughs> on the, on I the think, left side, you see the top. Let me see. I think you're right. Yeah, it's be. this silver from this. It's 100% that. I even see uh, the three lines. You see these three lines over here next yeah. on the on the left here, if I highlight that. This is definitely Kylo Ren's helmet. Bam. He it somehow is. smashed it. Maybe he's saying, fuck that. I'm not wearing the helmet anymore. I'm just going to show my, my, my emo face <laughs> the whole time. He's got a scar now. We saw that earlier. Let's We could jump to that part, talk more about it once we get there. But confirmed Kylo Ren's helmet, in my opinion, 90%. All right, so we get a shot of uh, books? some books. Yeah, books? some old books. Uh, Got to be. Um, I believe this is the uh, Book of the Jedi. I uh, forget what it's called, uh, well, Book of Wells or something like that. It's kind of like a, a, a an old lore book of yeah. poems and, and Jedi verses and things like that. Uh, I and, and what's interesting to me is that we've got kind of a, a tree structure here. Uh, now, if you're not reading the expanded stuff on the new canon, uh, they, they, they've mentioned trees. And, and Poe and Poe's family has kind of factored into that a little bit. Force trees uh, that, that are, are force sensitive. And I, I'm not sure if they're going to tie that into the lore. Uh, you know, I don't want this to turn into a, a Mandalorian, uh, 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 a Metachlorian situation. <laughs> Metachlorian count, you know, what, what kind of how many how many Metachlorians are in the tree trunk, and and, and then Mark Wahlberg comes in and says, "Hey, how, how's your hey, mother tree. doing? <laughs> We're here, <laughs> friendly. Say how do you mother for? We don't want that situation, <laughs> but we'll see how the tree sort of ties into the the universe okay, here. We, the uh, we got the training montage. Looks cool. It, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> when I was looking at her swing around the lightsaber, it reminded me of the fat kid swinging around the <laughs> lightsaber because she does look like she's going absolutely it looks bonkers. Like reverse, yeah. Yeah, yeah it does kind of look reverse. It probably is. Uh, Christmas. I thought it was uh, December fifteenth. That's a little before Christmas, but all right. So maybe it's on Christmas. So look at this fucking beautiful planet, this beautiful shot. I love how they're continuing to find new locations for Star Wars Universe. We got the snow, we got the f we got floors, we got all this stuff. Now it looks like we're getting desert. Uh, it looks like desert. Desert white sands, right? Yeah, yeah, it's totally desert white sands because, and, and when you cut up the ground, you get that, that, that red. red sand getting kicked up it just looks so amazing they they've done a good job of ta of respecting their concept artists because i look at movies and i'm like man that movie looks so fucking cool on the concept art but then when it goes to the movie it don't look like what that happened from here to here? Right, but this literally looks straight from their concept art so we've got a new type of uh a vehicle here I'm going to assume that these are rebels uh, because it's a little pods, podge, hodgepodge, you know, early Scrap, concept. Yeah. This could potentially be the B wing prototype, maybe. I think the B wing is going to factor into this film, I think I read. And if you look real closely here in the background, you can see some walkers. There's at at <laughs> at at walkers. So we're gonna have a fuck instead of a snow speeder, we're gonna have a skimmer uh, battle against or whatever these called uh, against the at to ats in the desert. So we've seen them in the snow. Now we go to the desert. Cool, cool as shit. Poor fucking Finn. <laughs> He's still recovering. Is that, now, in an interview, he said, look, I do stuff in this film, so don't worry. Okay, go. I'm not taking a nap the whole fucking time. <laughs> He's going to wake up panting. But He's in some fucking Space Marine armor, dude. Like, these shoulder pads are big. Oh, shit, I still want to see. sliced. <laughs> I still want to see a 40K movie, man. I know it's, it would look ridiculous, but I still want to see it one of these days when I'm before I die. Hopefully, they're like, well... We use the shit out of Star Wars. What can we do next? Oh, 40K. Disney would never do that. It would be somebody else. Okay, so now we've got a shot. Oh, this is a, a pretty impressive shot here. It looks like, like a rebel base is is either have been sabotaged. Yeah. Be, no, it's not sabotaged. I see, like, missiles in the background, yo. So check this out. You see that? Mm. And watch how it comes in. Boom. Boom. It creates yeah. another explosion. So it's uh, some kind of uh, attack on a hangar. This might be the same command ship that they were on before. So the rebels are in fucking trouble. You know what I'm saying? We're seeing. As always. <laughs> here's what I'm thinking is that Benicio Del Toro is one character we didn't see in this trailer. Who is he? We still don't fucking know. 
my, I'm going to put my chips into the Thrawn, uh, the, the blue, uh, white yeah. uh, commander with his w white suit and his medals and shit, and he's fucking intelligent. And he's outmaneuvered the rebels here and, and basically trapped their rebel fleet and is now screw fucking them up, dude. I, I'm looking forward to seeing what this is. And do you think he loses Black One? Because it doesn't look like he could get in here in time. Yeah, oh, it's gone. You it's gone. Black One it's is gone. fucking gone. Gone. No Poe, who is yeah. the best pilot, can't get into his fucking ship. Where his kill count was like, what, murder 11, 14, <laughs> something like that? He was a beast. In this film, shit, is, uh, does he even get a chance? Okay, next shot, we got uh, more clashes with the TIE Fighter. It looks like uh, the Millennium Falcon still being badass as hell. Uh, it's probably Chewy by himself. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, good point. Chewy. Um, maybe Chewy. Maybe this is over Ray. Uh, maybe the First Order has found Ray's training grounds, and Chewie's up, up there fucking shooting, protecting her. Or uh, th that's her, uh, Ray and Chewy in there together. Uh, you know, Could taking be. off like a bat out of hell. Uh, we've got what is this? Ray. Looks like she's I running straight for something. I think that this is going to be another confrontation between her and Kylo Ren. Uh, and if you look at the background here, kind of looks like it's on the same planet as the training. Mm -hmm. But I, I can't be for sure. Uh, we get a shot of Kylo Ren. He's got a scar, making him look cool. Okay. You got to admit, he's got a scar now. <laughs> Can he get some cred? Can he lose the emo image that a lot of people have forced upon him? I don't know. I like the Kylo Ren character. He's different from any other villain we've seen before. He's, uh, you know, to me, I'm, I'm into him, and I hope he continues to progress into darker and darker. I don't know where they're going to take him. Are we going to see him redeemed? Is he going to try to come to, is, is Ray going to convince him to come not. to the light side? You I hope, hope not. not? You want him to stay dark oh, yeah. all the time? Oh, yeah, I do. I kind of want to see if he can be redeemed or sacrifice himself at the end. We'll see. So here he comes, but it looks like he's going to have another confrontation. Uh, in this shot, we see R2-D2, so I'm going to assume that this is Luke. Kind of looks like the same shot from the first trailer Wait, that we ever got. Yeah, mm -hmm. I remember. Okay, in Force yeah. Awakens. What do you think this is? It's got to be Academy. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. He's like, ah, oh, shit. I, I see what you're saying. Yeah. He showed. That's why he fell to his knees, right? So he's like, oh, he's like, oh, oh shit. yeah. It's Kylo Ren came in here. The Knights of Ren obliterated all, obliterated all his uh, Jedi. Well, that's what it looked like. Because it like, fuck you. Mm -hmm. Well, I think no. This one is from different because he's got the scar that yeah. Ray gave him. But from over here, uh, this that's he definitely true. murders. And this is probably when he gives R two D two that 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 message or. Uh, you know, is very emotional, and R two D two just yeah. sucks down after this because it's like fuck. You know, my my best friend his life is ruined. Uh, we have a, a shot over here. I thought these two shots are connected, but if you look real close, that looks like uh Captain Phasma to me. It looks like it we got does. the chrome armor over here. She's got some troopers. So I was thinking it was in the Knights of Ren, but I don't think so. Yeah, it's these are no. Be. That's definitely first order yeah. right there, because I see a first order trooper. So uh, hopefully, Phasma factors into the movie more. Yeah, she didn't really. <laughs> she she should have been a bigger character in the other one, but yeah, she didn't get it's much. It's her time to shine. It's her time to shine. <laughs> Let's see Phasma do some shit. And here we go. So, and a fucking space battle. Thank you. Oh, my God. It's going to be so fucking cool. Uh, we got an amazing space Great battle visuals, in as always. Um, Rogue One. And so now we're going to see it in the main storyline. So if we look here, I can see some, some X-Wings. Yeah. We've got a new uh, ship type here. These look like B-Wings, but they're not. They're much larger, and they look like cruiser types or destroyer types. Very interesting. Blue, red. So we've got red squadron. We've got blue squadron. I can see that there. I don't think ships dock with this particular ship type. I think it's just purely offensive, it looks like. So I don't know, man. I'm excited for this battle. I is the Rebels striking back? If This, to me, looks like the Rebels are striking back. Where they're they're not caught up before, where they lost or are they they're losing their hangar, mm -hmm. uh, maybe Thrawn out maneuvered them or the First Order out maneuvered them. Here it looks like let's take the fight to it's them. It's like shit, we ain't got nothing else to lose. Let's take it to them. Let's fucking take it to them because they come all in. They're charging. Oh shit, man, that's gonna be some fucking tight ass X Men. Pop out, and that I'm gonna assume is Poe. <laughs> That's Poe getting his revenge. Now, I don't think he's in the black one anymore. He had to pick up a just a normal-ass uh, fighter there. It's time for the Jedi to end. 
So I noticed something when he said that it's time for the Jedi to end. There's kind of a sound difference between the two clips, you know? So I'm thinking maybe maybe it's trickery. They're taking two two lines, maybe. smashing them together. Or what else could that mean, Joe? It's so scarce. There's not enough Jedi, so it's over. Yeah. There, that's it. That's it? He said, that's you're it. literally the last yeah. one. Ren is the last one. Uh, no, Ray. Ray. Ray is the last so one. I'm thinking Ray is the last one, so that's probably why he's saying it. Yeah. It, it could also mean uh, that the Jedi as we know it, right, that's that time to end and let us create a new type of Jedi or a new Jedi order, you know, like a modernized shit, make it better. Or maybe yes. maybe Luke is just fuck this man. He's still he's still <laughs> like seeing all of his Jedi get slaughtered. Of course he's gonna say that, and it's up to Rey to continue. Yeah. And she can create an academy or whatever that that Luke never really got to fully uh, realize. You know, are we gonna see Luke die? I'm thinking so. In this film, you think? My thing gotta was, have something big. See, in this. I, I was thinking whenever she's running. Because it looked like she was still on the same island. Mm -hmm. So she's running. Maybe something's happening to Luke. Uh -huh. So she's running to save him. The confrontation is maybe, Kylo versus Luke. She didn't Luke. make it on time. Kylo I'm versus thinking. Luke. Oh, fuck. Yeah, but Luke is so popular. Even he when he's is, old, you he's... can't have him lose to Kylo. Do not have Luke lose to Kylo. Maybe we got some no, other fuck people. fuck shit up. We okay. got some other people, and she's trying to get there on time. Ah, it's so crazy, That's dude. what I'm thinking. Here's what's so exciting about this. I have no idea where they're going. I have no idea. <laughs> no. Is, is this film going to mimic The Empire Strikes Back just like The Force Awakens mimicked uh, the uh, the you know A New Hope? I don't think so because you can't do that twice. People complained about they it did. first. They did. And I hate that complaint because that was done on purpose. If you watch all the DVD commentary, that was the point. It's to re-familiarize past fans and to give something fresh and new to new fans that is familiar and still Star Wars. So they get a pass on that from me, and I thought it, it really made it a strong, familiar story that really pays respect to the originals while uh, having unique uh, things in it on its own. Now... You can't do that twice. No. I'm gonna agree there. If they fucking mimic the last, uh, the the, um, you know, the Empire Strikes yeah. Back with the Empire f striking them, and instead of on a snow planet, it's that sand planet. I'll be like, oh my god! It kind of already is actually having a few of those scenes, right? At at, at on the sand for <laughs> snow speeders, the skimmers. Wait a minute, think about this. What happened in desert, Empire Strikes though. Back? What happened in Empire Strikes Back? Luke is training, and he uh, goes on this vision quest, fights Darth Vader. What does she do? She's going training, and she's going to be in that cave on the vision quest. Uh-oh. Too, assum too many assumptions, We'll right? see. But hopefully— we Assume too much. Yeah. <laughs> what we didn't see, we didn't see any of the really uh, the, the new characters. We didn't see, There's um. I think there's a new resistance character, some sort of officer there, uh, a female character. I'm not sure uh, what her name is, uh, but there's also uh, Benicio del Toro's character, who seems to be uh, a high-ranking admiral or officer within the, uh, or potentially Sith. I don't think so. I think he's Thrawn, but we'll see. Uh, and maybe that could sort of, uh, you know, throw the wrench in the <laughs> Empire Strikes Back analogy. We'll see. All right, guys, what do you think? Do you think that it's going to be exactly like Empire Strikes Back and, and we're going to get more complaints like that? Or do you think it's going to, you know, have a little bit of stuff but be its own thing and, and really set off? And, Let's and, have uh, it be its own thing. Come yeah, on. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> Uh, we'll see. All right, guys. Uh, so leave your thoughts in the comments. I hope we broke it down about as well as uh, as we can for you. And I'm excited uh, to see more. All right. Yeah, let Hell us know yeah. if uh, we missed anything. Yeah, we yeah. might have missed something because <laughs> they, uh, you know, y'all know so so oh, much. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you guys on the next Angry Joe show. See y'all. We also, we, we, we did a review recently for Colossal, which is probably going to get crushed by the Fast Furious 8 at the theaters. Uh, so we'll definitely try to get tickets for the Fast and the Furious to kind of give you guys a review on that. So Colossal uh, movie review is next because I really, really enjoyed it, and I want you guys to see it. Uh, I think Joe, Joe enjoyed it a little less than me, but, you know. When it <laughs> just wasn't hey, my thing. It wasn't opinion. my thing. Hey, Pacific Rim wasn't your thing either. No, you like, didn't even I, like the, that the movie. The visuals were great, yeah, but everything else good. was... 
man. All right. So <laughs> lots of uh, content coming up for you. And, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you on the next Angry Joe Show. See y'all. Okay.